Hello and welcome back to my channel Crafty Concepts with Erin. I'm so glad you're here today. As you can see, I have a bunch of Hey Handsome scraps on my desk and I'm going to be working with these. Now I have to admit, I do have a whole nother paper pack. I've got a full sticker sheet and all of the pattern papers. I love it so much. I bought the workshop and an extra pack. I want to focus on just using these scraps. Yesterday, May 8th, was my oldest son's 19th birthday, so I wanted to do a layout for him. This is the story of his first car. There's a funny story behind this car, so I'm going to be documenting this photo. I also have the coordinating pocket cards, and this, there's a bicycle in here. Let me pull it out. This was on a four by six pocket card. I fussy cut that out earlier. I also have lots of stamped images left over from previous layouts, and I just throw them in that bag with the pocket cards. As I mentioned, this is a single page layout, so I'm bringing in one verse mat, and we're going to build this layout on a sheet of white daisy cardstock. I have this pattern paper here. This was one of the bonus sheets from the Hey Handsome workshop. This green was actually attached. It was several, you know, stripes of pattern paper that I separated, but I thought, you know what? I kind of like this already together. So I'm going to use that and then just kind of try some of these other ones. This has like black, a pattern. It almost reminds me of a car seat upholstery there. <laughs> Let's try the orange. I love this one with the words on it and the distressing. I do like that, but let me check out some of the pocket cards here. That little authentic uh, title option there is from the Coordinating Hey Handsome stamp, and that was left over from another project. I'm just going to thumb through these and see if anything inspires me. I like to use these for layering and kind of just building up some colorful layers behind my photo. So I'm just going to pull out the ones that coordinate. It's kind of funny because his car is like a very faded kind of oxidized version of the harbor color, so it's perfect. I actually really like this one. It's meant for kind of like bullet point journaling style, but I love the stars. I think that's gonna look pretty cool. And then this Hey Dude I like, and it's Harbor, but let's try this one. Oh yeah, that color just really complements the car in the photo. Recently, I created a, another layout here on my channel using Hey Handsome, and there were pictures of Hayden, and we're gonna do some similar techniques on this one, but the layering is going to be very different. We're gonna add in some stenciling as well. Now, I used that authentic title on the last layout, but they're not going to be in the same album, so I'm totally okay with that. They were taken several years apart, so it doesn't bother me to have layouts with similarities. I am using pocket cards, but you can definitely mimic this look with scraps of pattern paper. Now this one, I think I'm gonna tear this and I want it kind of on an angle going down. So I'm just gonna kind of carefully tear this down on a diagonal here. I really like adding kind of a touch of grunge to these teenage boy layouts. I think it just suits them well, at least it does my boys. So this torn edge kind of on a diagonal, I think looks pretty good. And really with the layers, it's just kind of trying things out, moving them around just a bit until you get it situated. Now I do wanna add a touch of black to this layout. So I'm going to start by adding a little inking to the edges here. Now Hayden's car is a 95 Toyota Avalon and he ended up paying out of his pocket 25 bucks for this car. It's pretty darn beat up inside. All of the upholstery is cracked and torn, but this car just runs and runs and runs. You guys, it won't stop. It's become a joke. One of my husband's friends had inherited the car from his father who had passed away. So it had been in their family a long time and it was just kind of an extra vehicle just sitting there. And, you know, they've been family friends for a while and wanted to help Hayden out. So they said, you know what? You can have this car. How about you just pay me, you know, with a couple cases of beer? At the time, Hayden was too young to buy beer. Well, he's still too young to buy beer. He just turned 19. So his dad went to the store, picked up a case of beer. So, you know, Hayden reimbursed him. So basically, he literally got this car for the price of a case of beer. It's too funny. It just keeps going and going. As I mentioned, he needed a bike rack because my son's a mountain biker. So they bolted the bike rack, like drilled holes straight through the roof of this car because what do you got to lose, right? And mounted the bike rack and it just just he's been driving it for years. Everybody teases him because you know you're a true mountain biker when the value of your bike far exceeds the value of your car. 
I thought this was the perfect photo to tell the story because he's like, you know, sitting on the hood of his car, leaning against the hood of his car, kind of like proud, but the mountain bikes are on top and I can include the whole story of the value of the car and the comparison to the mountain bikes. So I've got this Hey Handsome stamp and I already had the authentic you know, title stamped from a previous layout, but I'm not sure I want the orange. So I'm going to try it in black. And this is one of the best things about having the stamps is you can get these in whatever color, you know, customize the layout by changing up the color. So this does come, if you get it with coordinating thin cuts, you can cut out these titles and then just try it in the black. And you know what, I do like that. I think I like that better than the orange. Being totally indecisive, I stamped it in charcoal also. So let's check out this one. Mm, charcoal. I think I like charcoal. I like it. We're going with charcoal. Now I've got a little mink ink here because this is one of the coordinating colors. And this stencil is actually from the new Dream Maker special. There's some great patterns on here. We've got just different designs. There's the leaves and then the other ones are just very usable designs. Great for layering. I have a soft blending brush and I'm going to use this kind of grid style pattern here and we're just gonna add three points. I'm basically going to create a visual triangle with my embellishment clusters and I'm going to begin my first layer of those embellishment clusters with this stencil. Now I chose mink because it's a light color. I want it to be light so whatever I layer on top of it is going to stand out. There's gonna be enough contrast. If I had used a dark color, it would be hard hard to appreciate the stamping that's going over the top of this stenciled area. I want to mimic this on the opposite side. So I adhered all of these layers together so I can move that in and out as one piece. And again, I mentioned that triangle shape. So we've got it in the lower right. We're gonna form the second point of the triangle over here, kind of mid layout. And then I'll add it also in the upper right hand corner. I know it looks pretty subtle on camera because of the lighting, it washes it out just a little bit. It is actually more intense in person. And as you can see, I added that up in the upper right hand corner. Now I have my very favorite stamp set. This is the background element stamp and I've got the Harbor color. We're going to use this long linear texture stamp to kind of tie the stenciled area over on the left hand side. We're gonna tie that down to the title area. I wanna connect those elements so they're all kind of like one embellishment cluster, if that makes sense. So I just hold that over where I want it, then scoot my pattern paper out of the way, and then we can just put that right back into place. Do you see how that just kind of grounded that to the title? Now I have a splatter stamp also from the same background elements and we're gonna go down here in this corner and then I'm gonna add a little bit up in the upper right corner as well. It'll just kind of be peeking out from underneath the pattern paper. I want a little bit of texture like on the left hand side so I grabbed a smaller little kind of just brush stroke stamp and we'll put that right up top there. I grabbed my Life's a Hoot stamp. I love the circles on here. These are great for adding to your stamped images. And I have charcoal and paprika. We're going to layer these in each of the stamped areas. So this one, I'm gonna start with the largest stamp first, the largest circle. So we have the biggest circle here in paprika. And then I can take my charcoal ink with the smaller circle. And this one has kind of like a dotted line circle. And we'll just layer this connecting all of the images. Just kind of holding it up and we'll scoot that out of the way and it's just peeking out from the side there. And I want to again repeat that in the other areas here. Starting with the larger circle, we're going to stamp that right up on the corner here. And then I will grab the smaller stitch circle and repeat the process down a little bit lower. I have a stamp category that I titled boys and there's all these stamps in here that are my go-tos for my boys. Some of these are retired. Anything that is still available, I will leave in the description box below. And in fact, I'll jot down the other ones I used with the item number in case you wanna try to go and find those used. But I'm just taking these tiny little images. Here I've got some chevron arrows. I'm gonna stamp that three times so we get that faded out first, second, and third generation stamping and just adding little kind of 
bits and pieces to my stamped clusters. This is a row of stars also from the Urban Stamps. I've stamped those in paprika. Looking at my photo, I think it needs a little bit of black. So I cut a photo mat. I've printed it with the white frame. Now we're going to mat it on black cardstock and see how that looks. It's subtle. It's just like an eighth of an inch frame, but I do think that makes that pop even more. I've gone ahead and stamped some more embellishments that kind of remind me of road signs, which I thought was perfect for his car theme. It says scenic route ahead. And these two little arrows say one way or another. I love these. I have just gone for these stamps over and over and over again over the years. They were originally from the Urban Stamp Set, and there's actually two Urban Stamp Sets because sometimes Close to My Heart does a bring back my pack with an updated vibe, and they, you know, Urban was one of those. So you can bet I bought it the second time around too. Now these are journaling strip stickers. I'm actually creating this layout at a retreat and these are great for travel because you, you know, normally I type out my journaling strip stickers, but I didn't have my whole setup at the retreat. So I just threw these in and I really enjoyed using them. So you just write out all of your journaling and you can cut it up. I'm going to be adding my journaling in two different ways on this layout. I want kind of the basics on the front of the layout so I'm using these journaling stickers and it just says Hayden traded, you know, some cases of beer for his first car. And you know, you are a true mountain biker when your bike is worth more than the car itself. The details of the story, like who he bought the car from, the condition of the car, some funny nicknames he has for the car, all of those details and even like the value of his bike that I obviously don't want to put on the front of the layout. I am going to include those on a tag in a pocket up above the bike. I used a flip flap to create the hidden pocket back there. I actually have a video showing how I do this. I'll leave that linked in the description box below, along with everything I used to create today's layout. If this layout inspired you and you found it helpful, I would very much appreciate it if you would stop, take a minute and click that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for doing that. You can find links to my socials down below so you can see the still shots of this layout along with all the others I've created featuring the Hey Handsome collection. Looking for more boy layout inspiration? Watch these videos right here.